what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to give you an overview tutorial of the zoho sheet platform and its different features and benefits zoho sheet allows you to create and edit spreadsheets and collaborate with your uh, teammates in the project um, it's similar to what you'll find in microsoft excel and google sheets however with more functionality so by going to their website that's zoho.com sheet it's part of the zoho suite of apps you need to go, of course, to create an account. As you can see here, I've created an account and I'm signed in with it. Creating the account is pretty easy, straightforward, simple, and free. Aside from creating an account, this is the home page. So you can see here that you can create collaborative spreadsheets for creative workplaces. And here you have some screenshots of some interactive elements here, some graphs that change based on the values that you enter in the cells here. And you can use it also on your mobile phone as well as on the desktop, which is pretty cool. And here you get some other features of the platform here that you can add comments here at the data across the sync data across devices, automate your data workflow with codes and collaborate with other team members. And here some testimonials, some other features, some other benefits, as well as some other reviews on the platform. So here you can see if you scroll down, you can see more and more features here and more and more information. But let's use the app right now. Now here, you can click to access Zoho Sheet. And now you are on your main dashboard. So here are the recent spreadsheets. Of course, there are no sheets right now because I just signed in to this account. And here, these are the sheets that are shared with me, my favorite sheets, and my templates here. So you have document templates and automation templates. Let's check out document templates here, the public templates. And here you have many types of sheets to uh, accomplish many tasks. So like, for example, a weekly meal plan, a trip planner, a stock trader, inventory tracker, uh, contact lists and to do lists and so on. So let's, for example, uh, here get the net worth finder. So if I click on it, I can see some uh, info, some screenshots. I can open the templates or I can use it. So if I click on use it, It'll open up the template and import it into my own spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet is created. Let's open it. And now this is the spreadsheet. Now, if you know how to work with Excel or uh, Google Sheets, you'll find the interface pretty uh, similar. You have the exact same options right here. And here you have your pages. Here I have the assets or the assets tab here. I can view all the assets and a uh, pie chart of the percentages here. I can view the liabilities since this sheet compares uh, assets to liabilities. Okay, and here I have the instructions. And since of course this is an online platform, your internet connection should be powerful in order to uh, have minimal load uh, times. So here it is, some information about what is net worth, assets, liability, and so on. So let's go back to the main net worth here. And I can edit pretty much anything here. If I click on this chart right here, I can go to the graph info or the chart info, and I can edit the chart type. And this is a semi donut chart. I can edit to a donut chart, semi pie or a pie chart. So let's edit it to semi pie here or semi pie. And uh, it's now loading. And as you can see, the chart type changed. I have more control here if I want to. Let's try another type. Let's make it a donut chart. And again, it's loading up. And as you can see, it's now a donut chart. Let's get it back to semi donut here because I like it more. And here you have the total assets and the total labels. Of course, you can edit here this title. Here it says total assets. I want to change it to assets, only assets. And here the total liabilities. Let's change it to liabilities. Of course, you can change the text or the labels as you want. And here, if I like select this uh, like cell here, I can edit the color fill color or the uh, font color. So the fill color is red. I can change the color as I want. So basically everything you do on Excel sheet or Google sheet, you can do it right here. And if I click on the cell where it has the total, as you can see here, this is an equation. So assets here is in C25 in assets. So the total assets here is the same as the total assets that is here. 
as you can see here this is the c25 of the assets so let's here uh, change the total or change the sum here if you click on the cell we can see from the formula that it's the sum of c8 c17 and c22 so let's for example change c22 here which is the sum of c20 to uh, 21 so if i change this uh, deferred taxes for example make it like 15000 okay it's loading up right now and as you can see the total assets change because it's now up if you go back to the net worth now the total assets is up and the chart here has changed slightly because the liability the assets is now more so the percentage or the sum of the assets is now more than the liability so here and the net worth of course changed because this is the uh, total or the difference between the assets and the liabilities let's change the liabilities here okay and um, let's for example change this to 116,000 and now the liability is up if you go to the net worth a liability is up and the net worth is down because the difference is now less so as you can see here i can deal with any aspects here and uh, i can even add new like elements so this is the notes payable for example let's add or right click here insert row below and let's name it for example others or other liabilities okay and let's for example um, make this one okay 150,000 okay and any total we need to make sure that this is uh, into the total so let's edit this is uh, this is C 16 if you click here click on the formula tab let's drag this corner to include the uh, other liabilities okay click elsewhere and now the total liability has changed if we go to the net worth you can see here the uh, pi of course keeps uh, up with our changes so um, here as you can see you can deal with any aspect you can create sheets create graphs uh, calculate create formulas exactly how would you deal with excel or google sheets and now if you go to a zoho sheet here our main tab and if i go to my spreadsheet i can here uh, see the net worth finder that is edited by me eight minutes ago or created uh, last edited eight minutes ago uh, i can here go if i go to automation templates this time i can see here there are no uh, automations I can create a new spreadsheet from here and in this spreadsheet I can work from scratch and add all my automations right here so close it I can also upload here a spreadsheet or import from cloud drive such as Google Drive stuff like that and here uh, in the documents I can view my own templates I can create new spreadsheet here that will save in the templates or I can view public templates as I showed you now let's view my spreadsheets right here if i open the spreadsheet once again okay it opens up and at any time i can view here click on this option to get a page tour to learn more about how to use the platform so that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to use the zoho sheets platform to create powerful and interactive spreadsheets